Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, we're talking about Game of Thrones, and specifically, we're going to be discussing Sansa Stark and her journey as a knitter. Now, if you're a fan of the show, you know that Sansa starts off as a bit of a Princess Y character, more interested in pretty dresses and courtly manners than anything else. But as the series progresses, we see her grow and change in some pretty significant ways. And one of the hobbies she picks up along the way is knitting. Now, I know what you might be thinking, knitting doesn't exactly seem like the most thrilling hobby to pursue in the midst of a brutal war for the throne. But bear with me here. I think there are some really interesting things about Sansa's knitting that are worth exploring. First off, knitting is often seen as a domestic, feminine activity, and in the world of Game of Thrones, women are often expected to be nothing more than pretty, submissive objects. But Sansa's knitting is anything but submissive. It's a way for her to assert her own agency and independence, especially when she's in a position of powerlessness. We see this most clearly in the fifth season, when Sansa is held captive by Ramsay Bolton. She's essentially a prisoner in his castle, with no way to escape or fight back. But what does she do to pass the time? She knits. It's a small act of defiance, a way for her to retain some sense of control over her own life. And in a way, it's also a way for her to keep her sanity. Knitting can be a calming, therapeutic activity, and it's clear that Sansa is using it as a way to cope with the trauma she's experiencing. But knitting isn't just about coping for Sansa, it's also about learning. She's a beginner when she starts knitting, and we see her make mistakes and learn from them. It's a pretty clear metaphor for her character arc as a whole. She starts out as a naive, sheltered young girl, but as she experiences more and more hardship, she becomes stronger and more capable. And that's the thing about knitting, it's not just about creating a pretty scarf or a cozy sweater. It's about the process, the learning and the growing that goes into it. And I think that's something that Sansa really embodies. She may not be the most skilled warrior or politician, but she's constantly learning and adapting, and that makes her a formidable character in her own right. So, if you're a beginner looking to get into knitting, I can't think of a better teacher than Sansa Stark. She's proof that even in the most trying of circumstances, there's always room for growth and learning. And who knows? Maybe you'll even find a bit of comfort and defiance in the process, just like Sansa does. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Game of Thrones content. And let me know in the comments, who's your favorite character from the show?